You're welcome. For a Monday, we always look forward to motivation, and we're joined by Mfonobong Inyang. Inyang, Yang Yang. Uh, he's an author and a communication strategist, and he will be talking about social capital today, which is something I thought is very, very interesting. It's something that Titi preaches all day long here on uh, Wake Up Niger. Well, Mfonobong, good to have you here Thank with you us. Thank you so much, Mazino. Grand, and you bought your book again. With yes, you. I get Always bringing his book. The plug, the plug, yeah. The plug. Funny. It's all good. But I wanted to say, First off, can we start by defining what social capital? There's a lot of plugs I want to plug in here that's yeah. happening around us lately. True. But let's start by defining, <laughs> I like your t-shirt by the way. Uh, let's yeah. start by defining social capital and how it is yeah, relevant. Okay, S simply put, social capital, the equity you have in relationships. Mm -hmm. You know, we measure equity by money, by real estate, but social capital is the equity you have in other people. Mm -hmm. What are the things you can do without money? Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Because one white man said, if all you have is money, you are really poor. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? So social capital is very important because people don't know how to define wealth. People think wealth is just about what you have in the bank. No, wealth is what you have in your heart. Mm -hmm. But it expresses itself in money, in real estate, in people. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? I'm saying no matter how rich you are, last time I was here, I was talking about interdependence. No matter how rich you are, you ca cannot do without somebody else mm -hmm. because you are designed for leverage. So you leverage people, you leverage material. So if you take away people and material, um, I don't know what you are doing, except you are God. Mm. Only God does not need people and material. Wow. So anybody that has that kind of, I don't need you, is arrogant. Because you are human. Human already defines you to, you are limited. Do you understand? You need, TT t t needs the next person. We need the producer. We are looking good on camera, but we need the producer. That we need the sound check guy. Everybody is vital to the production, but oh, of course, I'm Mazino. Who, who do I need anybody? So that arrogance that I don't need somebody is why people don't succeed as much as they do. Oh, very interesting. I mean, that's one, that's one very deep way to look at things because yeah. not everybody actually sees it. So, so yeah. social capital is indeed your wealth. Uh, pfft. It's very interesting because I think it's very timely. Yeah. Because only just last week, uh, the trending um, song, it was, it's, I think it's a 60-second clip of Johnny Drill. Johnny Drill, yeah. Jazzy, How are you, my friend? beautiful song to beautiful. humanity called Shout My Out to Friend. Mavis. Yes, maybe this is fantastic, yeah. man. Um, and that song has, in a way, brought True. people back together again. True. And a piece of the song says, hey, when things go bad, you know who's going to be on site. Yeah. So that's social capital. Yeah. That's what we're talking about. Exactly. Right it's... Uh, I want to commend Johnny Drill for actually releasing that track. It's an old track, but it came back around again a second time. And it's causing a storm as people are remembering people that they've forgotten over a while. And I had to call up a couple of friends as well. So that's how relevant it is in true, our lives. True, true. What about in business? In business, um, people don't understand that some decisions are not necessarily made in the boardroom. Mm -hmm. They are made on the golf course. Oh, yeah. Made you know on the beer saying? table, actually. Exactly. So we are having drinks with friends. We are closing multi-billion dollar deals. Yeah. But you think it's all about your shirt and tie. Mm. Do you understand what I'm saying? So I've worked with corporate people. And they say, oh, somebody's doing a naming ceremony. They say, what am I going to do that? Yeah. No, don't understand. That's not the Why point. Why am I buying a shoebi? That's I, not I the point. <laughs> You don't understand. Mm -hmm. if you, someone will say, if you don't get it, <laughs> forget about it. That's where promotion is happening. Yeah. But you say, no, I mean, I've done my job, you know, nine to five. I mean, I've given the company. What else do they want? No. The chairman wants, he will not say anything, right? The chairman wants to see you at the party. True. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because the, 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 the chairman is going to lose, uh, she's going to bring down his guard. He's going to talk to you, not as, an, not as a boss, but hey, he might even give you one or two tips. You know what? Say, hey, you're not doing well here. Step up your game. Yeah. Do you understand? I'm going to get some pro tips from the boss, but people don't know that. I think, okay, I must be in the office. So how can I start building social capital if I don't have it already or if, I'm, if I lack a little? So the first thing, be a person of value. Don't always be a person that takes on people. Be a person of value. What can I do? I don't want to start, I don't know, it's cliche, but start with something you have. Say maybe social media. Mm -hmm. Say I'm going to give value. Many people don't know many things. I used to assume, that's why I'm passionate about teaching because I used to assume people know what I knew. So I'm like, oh, everybody should know this now. But I realized that I started putting out information. People started gaining value from it. Also, you can also be in terms of networking. You can say, okay, hey, you can say, I'm Mazino, this is what I can do. People, people, don't, people don't necessarily know what you do until you tell them. Yeah. So add value exchange. Don't, don't be the one that says, oh, I won't call you when I need you. Mm. Don't be that person that, oh, 
when they see your call, she wants something. Yeah. Do you understand? Know so don't be don't be a leech. Mm -hmm. That's the first thing because people get tired of you. Freeloader. Do you understand? Just like okay, here comes the guy that needs something from everybody yeah. else. When are you going to bring something to the table? Pull your weight. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Know be the person that you're excited when you walk into the room. Yeah. Do you understand? But like this guy is gonna bring something. What are you up to off today? You're excited, that kind there, of thing. There are a couple of people I like to call out here who are always asking for scripts every every Tuesday. <laughs> that will not be that, mentioned. <laughs> that will not be mentioned, but they do themselves. Scripts they will look, not be mentioned. Look yeah. for us. Where Let's are they? Let's <laughs> beg him. I'll spare you, Grandpa. Yeah. I mean, sorry, I'll spare you. <laughs> you owe me for that. I just covered you. Yeah. But that's a very interesting yeah. way to look at these things because True. you never think about it that way until True. it's actually brought to the fore and say, True. this is how it can help you a place of work. Uh, as as an individual in society, and then there is family. Mm -hmm. How does it work inside of family? The utility of so, uh, um, capital, um, uh, uh, capital what now? Social capital. Social capital. <laughs> Thank you very much. So that's why I brought my book. I was like, people power. I have today have a chapter. Okay, so you have your thumb in page seventy. What now? One thirty-three. Well, yeah, he's had his thumb in that one since. He exactly. really wants to read that bit. Because I knew it. No, I'm not going to read it because of time and all okay. that. But I, in People Power, I, I talked about some of, the, some of the biggest breaks. I'll come to family, but I'm saying that some of the biggest breaks happen with simple relationships. Mm -hmm. Because I manage, somebody said, how did you get to Acid Rock? No, somebody I work with in Lagos State Governor said, you are so good. I'm going to recommend you when um, Jack Ma came. This guy, I'm going to, oh, somebody said, it was not a big, mm -hmm. oh, I prayed and God did it. Of course, God did it, but I work with people. See what I did there? God yeah. did it, right? Yeah, God did it. God <laughs> did it. All right, so people, people, people started started noticing what you are. Mm -hmm. Coming back to the family. Family is the nucleus. I talked about the nation. Do you understand? If you cannot respect your wife, your family, you should not be married. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Because honor is the secret of longevity. Anything you don't honor will die. If you don't honor your employer, your employment will die. Mm -hmm. Don't honor your marriage, your marriage will die. Mm -hmm. Anything you don't honor dies. It's not just scriptural. Um, it's a principle of life. Do you understand? So marriage, I see people, oh, no, you're having a story. I'm like, you said something very profound. Never out your spouse. Never out your spouse. Do you understand? Spouse. I never do that. You never hear family feud. Nobody wins. Mm. Nobody, Nobody wins. Nobody wins. Very true. There's a problem with my family. He said, when brothers fight, strangers will inherit their property. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? I never, you will never, cold day in hell, before you see me talk about my family in a negative life on social media, that day will never happen. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? We, we'll fight, we'll fight harder than we love ourselves. But I will not come and say because I'm giving, I'm putting out spectacle. I'm not, I'm, I'm, exactly. I'm diminishing my, my brand word, my family word. Family is about secrets. What makes a family secrets? Yeah. It's not just blood. Yeah. There's always a sick family secret that should not be known. Mm -hmm. It's not necessarily criminal, mm -hmm. but it's secrets what keep the bond together. So mm -hmm. people don't understand emotional intelligence. Mm -hmm. What you should say. I'm annoyed. I'm not, people think I'm a nice guy, so I'm not a nice guy. But the difference between me and the next guy, I know how to rein in my emotions. I know when to speak. I know when to be quiet. I know when to take an L for the family. Mm -hmm. I know how to look bad for the family to look good. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? We understand this for football, but it's not for the family. Mm. You are the head, especially the people understand. Head is not about leadership. It's about taking the fall. Yep. Head means, in, in architecture, means the foundation. You take every load is on you. But people don't know that, say, I'm here to give instruction. No. Yeah, it's the other carry. way around when they're they going to be at the top. So emotional yeah. intelligence comes in. People don't even know how powerful <laughs> it is. As I said, emotional is, if I had a, a way with the curriculum, the first thing, non-negotiable. Because it teaches you self-awareness, mm -hmm. who you are. And you, from who you are, I know what to do. So your family, for me, is sacrosanct. Mm -hmm. Marriage, relationships, no. If you're not ready for, don't ruin people's lives. Yeah. Let them be alone. Yeah. If you're not ready to respect, trust, and love people, leave them alone. Don't ruin people's life because you cannot get yourself together. Mm. So that's what I think. I don't know if our, if our director is just simply enjoying all of this because we, we seem to have overshot <laughs> our time. Shut but our you time. want us to give it because you, it's Shut interesting, up. isn't it? It actually is very interesting because yeah. this is just very normal every day. True. Um, applications that we don't take seriously. And you, because you think everybody knows that, but Every, because you think here we are. everybody yeah. knows that. Now, you've told us how we can start to build yeah. uh, that kind of capital. Um, but then there are other little bits around it. Um, how do you call them? The nuances that go with building these True. Uh, um, in emotional intelligence and social capital. What are they? Are they physical? You mentioned emotions, reining in your emotions, that's one of them. But what other bits and nuances can actually be effective in trying to build social capital? Um, one of the things you can do, again, is networking, right? Yes. I mentioned, uh, I mentioned it before, but what you try to do is deliberately positioning yourself, social capital. When you see somebody saying it's a party, there's this guy who is going to every party. He's not going there for, you're looking at the 
the so they call the front end in technology. Mm -hmm. You're not looking at the back end. Yeah. He's going there and he's getting mileage. You like it or not, you're talking about him. Yeah. Do you understand? He's 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 putting what is the new dance value, you think he's mm -hmm. out there. Some people literally, because their brand is 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 out there for consumption. Mm -hmm. Whether bad or like that's the strategy. But for some people, controversy is not a strategy. Nice. Do you understand what I'm saying? We'll work with somebody else and they become even trend. Not everybody is a Kim Kardashian. Nice. Try it in Nigeria. Kaya goes from top to bottom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, see, I, I got you. I got <laughs> you. Know what I'm <laughs> so, so you it's must understand cultural but... context. Yeah. Don't try to say, oh, well, bad news, all news. No, no, no. Don't copy and paste. That's why I said you must know what works for you. That's beautiful. Do you understand? When to wear a suit and <laughs> can wear a coconut head like me and I get away yeah. with it. Um, I'd like to say that here at TVC, Mrs. Lamidi yeah. would buy material for everybody at the end of the year. Now yeah. I get what she's doing. Yeah. Titi would often just simply, you know, go out and say, don't worry, I got you and spend whatever she needs to do. She needs to spend yeah. to get you get a good production. Yeah. Uh, Mike. Well, Mike, Mike wants to, he, 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 no, no, I, I hear the director saying that he doesn't do anything, but Mike I, I actually, actually that. <laughs> Mike actually takes us out, you know, for movies. If, if it's the only thing he'll, he'll do. Mike, what, isn't that it? <laughs> is he the background calling? <laughs> Mike is doing, giving us a comeback on live uh, Shego, TV. Mr. Mike says that our time is done, that we should finish the show. But, but I would like to say that this is uh, actually a very practical exactly, yeah. uh, session here. True. And if you're out there and you haven't gotten anything from everything that we have said, I can't help you because this is as plain as plain can be. True. Social capital is actually the biggest tool that you True. need in any society. True. And if you don't have it, you're actually poor. There's, True. there's, there's nothing coming your way. That's brilliant. I'm, I'm wondering what more we can apply um, this to, but I think you've covered everything. Yeah. Mfana Bong, it's always grand Thank having you, you so here. much. I'm really it's, honored it's, to be on TVC's platform. We, we, we love having you. Thank Good you, to sir. have you here. Now, here's to the only guy who will give five extra minutes on any session. Do <laughs> stay tuned next time when he comes back around next week, okay? Oh, wait, is he coming in for November? No, no. Is he coming in for November? We would know. love to have him for November. Why can't we bring him, bring him back? But in any case... Maybe somebody else, yeah. Thank you for joining us.